I want to share with you just briefly and take one or two, three, or four, po four points or five or whatever points that God is going to give us, and then I will be done. In the book of Isaiah, where we have uh, the theme for the year, Isaiah 41, verse, and I will start with verse number eight. We'll read up to verse number 14. Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, Kitabu Chanabi Isaiah, or Isaiah, Ama, depending on where you come from. If we can read in the King James, if you do that in the King James, that will be great. But thou, Israel, art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth, and called thee from the chief men thereof, and said unto thee, Thou art my servant, I have chosen thee, and not cast thee away. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am, my, uh, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that were incense. Yani wa rikasirishwa na wewe. Now, again, is thee shall be ashamed and confounded. There shall be as nothing. And they that strive with thee shall perish. May that happen to you and to me. Thou shalt seek them and shall not find them. Even them that contented. With thee. They that war against thee shall be as nothing. And as a thing of naught. May that happen to me. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Verse number 14. Fear not, thou warm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, says the Lord and my Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Father, if we can pray for anything this morning, is that you will drive fear away from us. In the mighty name of Jesus. We honor you and we give you thanks. For this is our prayer in Jesus name. Amen. Say hi to your neighbor. Actually greet them. Feel them a little bit. You know I said in the first service and I will say it again. This is one of the services that I will feel very comfortable. Because of the sermon that I'm sharing. Because I'm speaking to people that are fearful. Look at your neighbor, tell them, neighbor, I know you are fearful. Yeah. But you see, the Bible is telling us fear not. But we are fearful. Actually, some of us fear about tomorrow. Tomorrow is so scaring that we don't know whether our children. Sahi yako nasare one. Kuna nasare one. Ama ni pipi one. Hiyo. Unashindwa kama atafika eight. Ama nine. You even don't know whether the system that has come, your child is going to walk, to walk there. The Bible and the word of God is saying, fear not, because God is going to help you. There are some of us, they don't know whether they are going to celebrate the 50th year. I've come to tell you, fear not, the Lord is going to see you through. There are some of us that are even worried whether what God told them many years ago will come to pass. The word I have for you is that fear not, because God is going to help you. Why do I say this with this confidence? Genesis 15 and verse number 1. This is a man of God called Abraham. Abraham had a promise when he was young. He was actually young in terms of age. But God is waiting for him until he's, he's celebrating 100 years. And sometimes I wonder why did God take too long for him to have a son? But it is in those years that God kept on talking to Abraham and telling him not to fear. Why? Because he says in, in, in chapter 15 verse number 1, of who God is. You know, it is good to know mungu kwako ni nani. No, look at your neighbor. Neighbor, mungu kwako ni nani. Because you see, some of us think God is like our father. And our fathers were very fearful. He, he entered, we all hid. We would hear them and we keep quiet. Those are the fathers of some of the generation of people that are looking at me. But of course, the generation that is now, 
The father come and the children jump all over. They are on the TV. They are on the floor. They are climbing up the windows. Those are the children of now. But some of us are our fathers. So when we talk about the father, we wonder, would that be the father, my father? And we are also afraid of God. Could God, the father, be like my father? A mean father? Very abusive father? Very militant father? But God is telling Abraham who he is to him. Let's read it together so that you can know I'm not talking from my own words. It is God who tells Abraham, after this thing, the word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision saying, do not be afraid, Abraham. Why? I am your shield and I am your reward. In other words, the Lord becomes the shield. I don't know whether you have thought about the Lord becoming your shield. If the Lord is your shield, you need to imagine too. Imagine, you know, where do you imagine? Just imagine that God becomes your shield. Do you know what that means? It simply means when he covers you, nobody can see you. That's what it means. Because God, now let me give you a little picture about God. God is sitting in heaven. But where you are, it is his footstool. And his legs are reaching where you are. In other words, when he shields you, <laughs> So the question is, Mungu ni nani kwako? Who is God to you? Who is God to you? So he is telling Abraham, I'm not only shielding you, I am your reward. Fear not, I am your reward. In other words, whatever reward I have promised you, Abraham, will come to pass. But why do we fear? We fear because years are going. Mungu, uliniahidi ni kuwa secondary. That's when you told me that uh, by the time I get in my 40s, I'll be a millionaire. Do you know having a million shillings when you are 40 is awesome? Oh, none of us would hate to have a million when you are 40. Ama nimesema vibaya. Wale muko bado amjafikisha 40, ukiitu a millionaire bado ujafika 40. Si, itakuwa poa sana wawaya. Yeah. Millionaire Hawaii. I met one of our pastors in one of the places called uh, Kuna. He, his name is uh, Billionaire. That is his name. He calls himself Billionaire something. I thought, Billionaire. He calls himself. May, may his words also come to pass in the name of the Lord. So the thing is, Abraham, I don't want, want to be a shield to you. But I also want to be your reward. I want to be uh, the, the surety for you that what I have promised to you will come to pass. But Abraham feared. Actually, he kept on changing goals. One time he thought his servant, God said no. Then Sarah had that. So Sarah came through and helped Abraham. They had Ishmael and so on and so forth. But God kept on saying, when I look at you, Abraham, when I look at you, I see your sons and daughters like the stars in heaven. So why don't you allow God to see you? Don't allow that uh, brother from Karate where you are born look at you because he doesn't see anything. He doesn't see you going anywhere. But allow God to see you because when God looks at you, what he sees shakes you. Actually, if you would know what God sees in you, some of you, you might say, Huyo, kweli ni mungu? But ni mungu. Kuna mambo ametupangia. Mimi amenipangia. Na bado, bado. Bado, bado. God has great things for me. At first, and I know I've said this, I thought um, uh, I would die at age 50. You ask, why? Because my father died at age 50. But I discovered when I gave my life to Jesus, I started my own generation. My generation is different. And some of you ought to believe God that your generation is different. They don't marry, you will. They don't keep their marriage, you will. Why will you? Because the shield is God and the reward is God. What your shield? Munampenda Yesu. 
Why does God say fear not? Because he knows. I say it again, me, I'm happy I'm preaching to people that are afraid for something. But some of us, what we are afraid of is very interesting. Panya. Chura. If it jumps here, some of us would... Some of us, panya ikija, utacheza mpira na utaitandika tu irukarusha, upepete, pepete, 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 lafu, igonge, pap. But people fear many things. But some of the things that we fear, actually, which are spiritual, is where the Lord comes to us and tells us not to fear. Abraham, because of fear, he thought God would make it spiritual. You know you can make it spiritual. God, I know you are talking by, about my sons being like the stars, eh, which is spiritual. But God was saying physical, not spiritual. So when God says this mountain, he's not talking about a spiritual mountain. No, 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 he's talking about that mountain. He was pointing at a mountain and he was saying you can tell Mount Olive to be packed off and be thrown into the Mediterranean Sea. And if you have faith and you doubt not, it shall happen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Unajua sa ingine unahubiri unjumbe mbaka we mwenyewe. You have to believe it yourself. And I have said it here again and again. Me, I preach, I believe what I have preached. Because I, if I don't, I get conviction. The conviction is, why am I telling you and I'm afraid? Why should I? So, in other words, I will build myself up. I'll build my faith up to a level that what I say and what I do is in agreement. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, some people, I tell them, and maybe sometimes they don't believe it. I said when I came to Zimmerman, I will not talk about my salary ever. Never. Because if God has called me, why should I talk about my salary? He knows better. He knows what I need. And if he knows, he has ways to feed me like he did Elijah. He has ways to feed me like he did Elijah. He has ways. I will not fight those battles. They are not worth it. Shiringi kumi ukure inaisha. Apana ntamtumikia yule mungu wa ishie mirele. And I have never lacked. I say so. I have never lacked. Actually, even one time they thought, the people that were giving me salary, they could not add up. Because if you are getting a hadi ya buwana, a hadi ya buwana, it's 1,520. If you have heard any bishop say about the Hadi Abuana, that's what they are saying. It was 1,520. Are you a mathematician? Pay 1,200 for the house in Zimmerman that I was staying. How much is left? Did I survive? Look at me, I'm still alive. Don't look at me like sympathizing with me. And I said I will not talk about it. Then what would God do? God in his own miraculous way. We ate meat from farmer's choice because he ordered the, the financial manager there to be carrying every delicacy. Spare ribs, or sausages, bacons, and drop them there in my own house. Now I'm telling you, then a teacher started at school, came there to call me and told me, your son, your daughter and your son, they will come to my school for free. So a bus would pick them there, take them to school, and bring them back. What did I tell you? I had the abuana. It was 1520 minus 1200 is 300. Pay school, eat sausages, and live well. And because there was a supermarket there, every member of our church who came to the supermarket entered through my house for a cup of tea, and there was. I have known that God. And I will always go back and see what God can do, no man can do. People trust others. You, 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 you are a fearful, you are afraid of people. And no wonder the Bible is trying to encourage, and this is God speaking. He's telling Abraham, I want to help you. To you, I'll be a protector. To you, I'll be your reward. And what I see in you are stars it is the son of the ocean. You will be the father of them. When he brought Ishmael, he was told, no, 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 no. It is not Ishmael. It is from your loins. And when Isaac came, and we have done that in our encounter, we discovered that it goes on multiplying. Jacob had 12 sons. 12 sons became a nation. And all this is Abraham. 
And by extension, even the Arab world is all those stars of Abraham. Why am I afraid? So when in fearful circumstances, someone just telling you to fear not would not help you. If somebody came and you are afraid, and he's telling you not to fear. For example, you are afraid you'll be fired. You saw it. it they told you they are going to, they are going to kufuta watu. Inaitwa kufuta watu. E, mutafutwa. And then there you are, you are so afraid and somebody says, fear not. Will you not be afraid? You will. Why? Because humanly, you will be sacked. But there are some people here that the line has just come just below, up, just above them a little. Here I number 50, wakachukua baka 49. Round ya kwanza. I prayed for someone here. Then Barclays also was going to do it again. Then we prayed. The line just a little above with them, and they still survive. Why? Because there is a God. The Bible is trying to encourage us. We know him. And then we should not be afraid because that's the way it is. So when somebody is telling you, uh, you probably you will not understand what they are saying. It's like when you have lost a dear one and somebody is telling you, be comforted. You know, some, some of you would ask, you are telling me to be comforted. Do you know where I am? Do you know the situation I'm in? But the truth of the matter is, even at that situation, the Lord is telling me not to be afraid to keep on holding on to him. So hearing people tell us, we can doubt them. But when you hear God Almighty saying, do not fear. Now that story and game is different. And it is God who is telling us not to fear. I want to read the scriptures again. But you, Israel, my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, you are descendants of Abraham. My friend, that's where you are. I took you from the ends of the earth, from its farthest corners I called you. I said, you are my servant. I have chosen you and have not rejected you. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. All who rage against you will surely be ashamed and disgraced. Those who oppose you will be as nothing and they will perish. Though you search for your enemies, you will not find them. Those who wage war against you will be as nothing at all. For I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear, I will help you. Verse number 14. Do not be afraid, you warm Jacob. Little Israel, do not fear, for I myself will help you, declares the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. So the principles of God in the Bible when God is saying, fear not or do not be afraid to his people, they are timeless. He keeps on telling us not to be afraid. He keeps on telling us to just to trust him, not to be afraid. In the King James Version, there are 71 times that fear not appears. From the book of Genesis, chapter number 15, all the way to Revelation, chapter number 1. There are reasons. No wonder the Bible tells us in 2 Timothy, 17, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but God has given us a spirit. It is of power. It is of power. It is of sound mind. That's what God is giving us, that spirit ought to flow in us. So the question that we want to address ourselves is how can I not be afraid? Say hi to your neighbor again. Greet them. Feel them. T please tell them, don't be afraid. I told you, me, I like the, the church here. Some of us are afraid of uh, high school. You don't know whether you'll make it. Some of you are in college. Actually, some of you are wondering whether you will ever get a job. You know, some of you are wondering, will I ever get married? You know, there are those things that are coming into your mind. Will I ever, you know, there's a brother here wondering, will there be, will, will there be ever loved? You know, because the, every girl is looking down on you. But you should not be afraid, brother. Eh, sister, you should not be afraid. God is still working. Uh, he says, don't be afraid. Why? Because I'll share a few reasons. I don't want to tell you how many, so that when my time ends, I'll end there. This is called wisdom, the power of wisdom. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thou shalt not be afraid. Verse number eight, it is start by saying, 
You whom I have chosen, I have called you. First Peter 2, 9 says, but you are a chosen people, a holy nation, a people belonging to God. Verse number 10, once you are not a people, but now you are the people of God. Fear not, because God has chosen you. He has called you to his own. You are a people belonging to God. Just like parents, fathers and mothers want to protect their children. God wants to protect us. He is telling us not to be afraid. Hallelujah. Some of us are afraid of the economy. Don't be afraid, he says. Why? Because he has called us. He has chosen us. We belong to him. Fear not. The Jews were afraid. The Jews were afraid, but Jesus, God is reminding them that you Jews have called you. Uh, you are my chosen people. That was the old covenant. But for you Christians, Jesus is trying to tell us we are in the new covenant. We are a special people. God has called us out to be his own. So the word is, fear not. Oh, will I ever fly out of this country? Fear not. Oh yes, fear not. Fear not. Akiamua, uyo mungu, mambo yako inabadilika. I started by telling he's your shield and he's your reward. All what you need is to believe your shield and to believe the reward. And it will come to pass to you in the name of the Lord. So why should I not be afraid? Why should, not, should, I, should I not be, not, uh, fe be fearful? It's because I am chosen. So when fear comes, I say what? I am chosen and I will not be afraid. I will not fear. I will always have faith in God. Secondly, verse number 9 says, God has not rejected you. Because you see, sometimes people want to believe that God has forgotten us. And those, that was the problem of Abraham. He thought God has forgotten him. Please look at your neighbor and help me preach. Tell them, neighbor, he has not forgotten you. <laughs> Actually, tell them, he knows how old you are. And he has no problem with that. Oh, I love Jesus. He has no problem with my age. You know, I, I'm so amused at some of you that cannot drive a car. Why? You are afraid. And you have a driving license. I'm coming to tell you, don't be afraid. I was told the other day, a friend of mine is a professor. He cannot go beyond 60. Ikifika 62, anarudi. The only time he goes 80 is when his son drives him. May God then give you a son to drive you. When will you get to Machakos? When will you get to Kisumo if you are a 60? Because even the ile gari yetu, ile van yetu inaendaga 80, at least ikifika 78 inaanza kupiga piga, ikifika 80 inanyamaza kwenda mbele. At least ibwana. Thou shall not anyway. God God help help you and help me. God has not rejected me. Let them say it. I am not rejectable. Actually, I am chosen. I am not rejectable. Oh, yes, God has chosen me. I'm not rejectable. Not my family, not the nation, not my neighbors, not my teachers. I am not rejectable. I am highly favored and flavored. Now, let's do it together. I'm highly favored and flavored. In actual fact, we should tell them, utakula wembe, because I am highly favored and flavored. I am not rejectable. Kenya, 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 hear the word of the Lord. You cannot reject me. Haiwezi. Haiwezi. Kwa hivyo wale mumeambiwa, wewe ni bure. The Bible is trying to tell you, no one has rejected you. You are still my chosen. You are still precious. You are still worthy. Do you know, do you know some of the, the, the stranger than fiction that happens to us is when you see someone, you are in the same school. Now, you are in the same school. 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 That will be the story for you. 
like that. At Huyo ni nani? Alafu unasema ni kule guy. Yeah. Ni nani? Kuna Mungu. There is a God somewhere. That should be your story. That should be your story. You know, so when I'm walking like this and I met I meet some people that we were selling so time being capsules and so on. And I said, Hii gari ni yako? Eh, hey, ni gari yako. Si unipe 100. Unatoka 100 unampatia una bless. Ana shindwa si ninge kuitisha 200. Naambia sasa siwezi toa ingine kwa sababu ulitisha 100. That should be your story. The story is kama ni Mungu amebariki jimi. Hata wewe anaweza kukubariki. The only thing don't you worry because he knows how old you are. In the first service, I wanted to pray for somebody. And I knew that person was there. Two actually. One was worried whether they would get age 50, celebrate birthday, and the other one was age 40. Na kule wako, watanipigia simu. Kwa sababu, uoga, unaogopa nini? Kwa ni maisha yako hiko wapi? Si hiko kwa mkono wake mungu? Let him take care of you. You are not rejected. And this is happening to Israel because they thought they were rejected by God. They were in Babylon. But you know they went to Babylon because of idolatry. Some of us could be where we are because of our choices. But God is still saying, you are not rejected. Maybe you chose the wrong way, but you are not rejected. Maybe it was in marriage, you chose the wrong character. But God says you are not rejected because you are not rejectable. I am not rejectable. The Bible is trying to tell me I should not fear because God knows and he has not rejected. So verse number 9 encourages them as it is encouraging us today that we are not rejectable. God loves me. God has accepted me. I am a chosen and I am not man's opinion. Actually, it is God that I will honor. Because it is God who has honored me too. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Why should I not be afraid when Kenya is going this way? Number three, verse number 10. Do not fear, for I am with you. I say, fear thou not, for I am with you. Who you see MP? Who you see MCA? After you see President? Who you see, see, and I talk about CS. Apana, actually, who you? Ni mungu. Na ki kuorota na mnahi. Kuorota ni jina la kule kutumetoka. It's a Greek word meaning if he points at you. The kikuyus that are here, there is a song that I love very much. And I, I will try a little bit. Because it is amazing. Jesu adekia hanini. Interpret to your neighbor there. Try to interpret it. Jesu adekia hanini. Just interpret it. Keha. Interpret. Tell them what keha is all about. May God smile at you. Then the singer goes to say, then, because if that is what God can do for me, na niye gogo idia keha, teline otaguo deboku. I'm talking to people here that ought to stand up, take off that sorrow and pain they have, like tattered clothes and pull them down, and believe there is a God who loves them, and nothing can happen to you. I am loved of God. I am not an opinion of people. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Apana sikubali watu wa decide vile nitaishi apana na ijalishi niko na miaka mingapi he says i am with you in the first service i said my father was good yeah he wasn't my father was good good man he akwa na tumbo kwa sababu alikuwa anajua kufanya practice Na baba yangu, hakuwa kama wale baba nilikuambia wana kuja muna toroka. No, 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 my father was good. Good. And I loved him. Because my father would come home and he would come with the kaburungo. That kaburungo 
would be that cover of a banana leaf, dry one. But inside, it was the paper that used to carry meat those days. I said. And then it, he would come with the boiled meat. So I would run to receive him with that. Yeah, kafurugo. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And he would throw me in the sky. And I will laugh my head off. Because I know where I'm coming from and where I'm going. May the Lord help you to know that the Lord says, I am walking with you. I will lift you. I will throw you up. I will hold you. You are safe in my hands. That's why he says, don't be afraid. That's our God. God is walking with me. Do not fear I'm with you. When fear may try to come upon you, remember, he is the one who says, I am with you. I was telling people the other day, actually, you have to verbalize it. You have to say it. I said maybe at the, the church there. The Lord has said, he's going to be with me. I will not be afraid. Be not afraid. Wow. Hallelujah. Verse number 10, another point. Why I should not be afraid? He says, do not fear because I am your God. You know sometimes why, why things become very tough from the preacher here. He's trying to convince you that God is not like your uncle. That becomes a difficult thing, you know. To convince you that God is not like your earthly father. To convince you that God is not like Ruto. That becomes a difficult thing for a preacher standing here. Because our whole idea is to convince you there is a God. I hope you can receive that God is saying, I am your God. Personal. He is your personal God, not our God. You see, like I share now, there are people that are going to receive their Rema word, which has nothing to do with your neighbor's Rema word. Because God wants to be personal to you. I am your God. Mungu, bas, akiwa ni mungu wangu. Kichwa ju, kifua. Na unakanyanga kama buwana, mungu ni mungu wako. You know, my stories have to do with mashamba. Sindio? And I've always said, me, my life changed in 2009. And it will never be the same again. Sasi onagi mulima, na onaga mungu. Na siendagi na pesa, na endaga na mungu. Na si yogopi. Apana. Kwa sawa kama mungu wa mesema hako na mimi, nikishindu wa sinia meshindu wa basi. Na sita mula umu hata hakishindu wa. Kwa sababu kuna kuingine unawekaga hapa weka, unapotea, hapa weka, unapotea. See, I know I told some of you that are older in this church that one time I invested for the church one million. Ikapotea hepu. Jamali kuwa meniambia takuwa kinilipa 40, 40, 40 every month. 40, 40 every month. Na milioni yangu bado itakuwa imekaa ikiwa hivyo. Na after the year atanirudishia. 40, 40. That's a good deal for the church. 40. Mushara wangu na watu wengine tulikuwa tunafanya kazi yote yukiakuwa hiyo 40. Nisawa. Nilikuwa nimeona maono watu wa mungu. Nilikuwa nimepangia church. Plan poa. Mwezi wa tatu. Jamaa kaisha. Equity ikaja ikamunyoa. You can let the same product uko kitale. I lost a million, Bishop Mark lost a million, and another bishop we lost. But, but anyway, I also invested somewhere else. So the day for confession, I came to church and I stood there so that I can ask for repentance. So I started with the bad news. I told the congregation, mumepoteza milioni moja. Because you see, now you can be stoned. Million moja, bishop. Na sayo nilikuwa mchugaji. Million moja, mchugaji. Unakura million moja, unamaliza harafu, unatuambia maplani zako na mastori. Iyo ni story yako iyo. We ni mastori unatuambia. So I allowed them to sink. And I saw the faces. Man, I tell you, they were, 
they, they had the questions. But then I said, and then I have some good news. I also invested in Britam. And we have collected 3.2 million. I saw the church stand up and they were glowing. In other words, even as we believe and trust God, some investment might not work. But we cannot give up investing because one did not work. That's the point I'm saying from here, looking at you. I pray that God can help you to know what are we saying when we say God he has become my God. God has become my God. God, the creator of the universe, he is my God. All his power, all his love, all his blessing are there for me. They are for you. Then I should go to him through Jesus and say, yes, I want to belong to this God who has given me all this, actually has given me everything. He has given me everything. Fear not, I am in God. I am your God. So the question we are addressing again, why should I not be afraid? Why? Verse number 10. The same verse number 10. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you. Now I want you to see the, 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 the sequence here. God is saying, you should not be afraid. Why? I will give you strength to resist. I will give you strength to fight back. And if that is not enough, he says, then I will help you. All what you need is to trust me because I will help you and I will uphold you. But I'll, first of all, I will give you strength. May God give us strength. And may we rely on his help. May we allow him to uphold us. Therefore, I shall not be afraid. Don't be afraid. Why? Because I, the Lord, I want to help you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. But it is for you to know when you need that help. Blessed be the name of Jesus. I feel like um, I would try to run up a little bit so that I can, I can try to wind up what I'm saying. Uh, it, they, they, we normally say to be continued if there will be that continuation. Uh, but if there isn't, Simungu ni mpoa. Mungu ni mbesti tu. Hata we naeza endelea na hiyo salmon. Ujimalizie mwenyewe. Hili ukijimalizia inakuwa ni baraka kwa kubwana yesu wa sifiwe. Think of it this way. To say that God is my God. And that he will strengthen me. And that he will help me. And that he will uphold me. Think about it. What is he saying? He's trying to say this to you. That I am your strength. He's trying to say to you that I am your courage. He's trying to say to you that I am your health. He's trying to say to you I am your hope. He's trying to say to you I am your supply. He's trying to say to you I am your defender. He's trying to say to you I am your deliverer. He's trying to say to you I am your forgiveness. He's trying to say to you I am your joy. He's trying to say something to you concerning your future that he is your future. If the Lord then is my future, then what shall I be afraid of? Blessed be the name of the Lord. You know what? If God becomes my help, then a few things are going to happen. My faith will focus on God, not on my problems and my situation. When he says he will help me, I will do that. My faith will trust in God's timing, not in my own timing like Abraham. I will think about God and see what God can do for me. Faith will grow by believing God in spite of my circumstance. I'm going to allow my faith to grow. Faith, because faith obeys God one step at a time. Blessed be the name of the Lord. One step at a time. One step at a time. That's how our God, our God works. I want to finish by saying this. Uh, the last point. Oh, I tell you. I want to finish. I've said it twice. Si unajua nayo ni dangerous. Unaweza sema mara nyingi mpaka watu washindwe bishop utamaliza saa ngapi? Bishop utamaliza saa ngapi? Nitamaliza. Ninaona nitamaliza tu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Ama wacha nimalizie pale. Hallelujah. You know huko na mapoint mpaka unashindwa. Hii ndio nzuri kuliko hii ama hii ndio nzuri kuliko hii ama hii ndio nzuri kuliko hii. Afadhali kuachia pale. Niseme hivi, maandiko inaniambia niwache wasiwasi na uoga. I should not be afraid. Why? Because God is saying he will help me. 
If there's anything that you're picking today is that God wants to help you. But I said all of us are afraid in one way or another. We are afraid. Some of us are afraid. And I want to pray for some of you right now. I want to anoint some of you because this year of breaking the mountain, some of those mountains have to go. I know there are some people here. The Lord has spoken to you for some investment somewhere, but you are afraid. I want to anoint you. That mountain, God wants you to invest, but you are afraid. May that mountain break in the name of the Lord. If I were you, I would not wait for religious service. I would come for that anointing. Please come if you are coming. You are there. There is some investment, but you are so afraid about it. That mountain has to break in the name of the Lord. Yes, that mountain has to break in the name of the Lord. The Bible is telling us we should not be afraid. We should not be afraid. My goodness. God have mercy on us. Hallelujah. Ministry team kujeni hapa ni wapake mpake hawa watu mafutuka. Katika jina la Yesu. Kwa sababu ni meona kanisa rota ni mekuja. Hii kanisa itakue ya mimilionea. Salimia jirani yako muambia milionea tuko hapa. Hatuta ogopa katika jina la Yesu. Tuta invest. Tuta invest katika jina la Yesu. We will invest in the name of the Lord. May the Lord help you to invest without being afraid and fearful in the name of the Lord. May the Lord help you to invest and as you pray for others, may the Lord also release them from the fear of investment in the name of the Lord. May the Lord release you from fear and as you pray for others, may they also be released from fear and bondage of fear in the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus.